Hey guys, Steven here, and welcome to my Redstone Logic World, a place where you can find all your Redstone Logic gates. They're all backed up with the practical examples, so it shows you how to use each gate. Um, download to the map, it's just in the description of the video, so check it out if you want to learn some stuff. Today though, we're looking at the OR gate. So we'll go straight in, and we'll build the OR gate off the bat. It's pretty easy. Um, it's just two blocks side by side like so. At the front, we put a redstone torch and a piece of red wire on the first block and on the second block we put a redstone torch on top. Coming from this torch just here is the output and here are the inputs we can have. So for this logic gate design there's three inputs that we can use and I've just built it pre-made here and we'll just run through all the inputs here and test them against the truth table. But first we'll look at the truth table where the blue is the inputs and the green is the outputs. So we can see that whenever we have a high input, doesn't matter if there's just one or two, the output's always going to be at a high. So we'll only have the logic gate is off if every single input is off. So we'll just quickly run through that and we'll test it line by line. At the moment both inputs are off, so the output is off. Flip this one on, the output is at a high. Turn it off. Now we'll turn this one on, this one's at a high, and I'll turn this one on, and it still remains at a high. So it doesn't matter, really, if, even if we're in the process of changing it, the output still remains at a high. So it's a pretty easy logic gate to understand. Um, this is just the one design though. You can also build it using repeaters, using the died characteristics of a repeater. So basically, we'll turn it on, and we can see it goes like so. And the key thing about having an OR gate is by using it you don't have each of the inputs interfering with one another so we can see that when we turn it on like so these inputs aren't affected they still remain off so if you had something else tied to them it doesn't affect it um, and the exact same happens here I'll turn this one on and we can see these inputs aren't affected um, that's everything to this logic gate but now we'll run through a practical example to see how we can apply it in Minecraft Alright, so just one of the many ways we can apply the OR gate in Minecraft is shown here. It's running off the fact that an OR gate, it doesn't matter if one or more of the inputs are at a high, the output's always going to be at a high. Um, basically what we have here is something for an adventure map, where in each room there's going to be different obstacles. This one could be a parkour map, this one's a little survival area, and this one's a puzzle area. And basically once the player has achieved their objective, they break the redstone torch, and once the, all the redstone torches are broken, this little piston door found there will open up. So we'll just go ahead and break them. Once the last one's gone, it opens, and the player is free to advance to the next stage. Um, if you wanted to have an iron door instead, though, you can just remove the inverter found here, and it'll make it work perfectly. Um, pop those back. And yeah, that's everything to the practical example. If you guys have any more questions, though, even if it's unrelated to the OR gate and it's with respect to these ones, just send me a personal message or put something in the comments. I'll get back to you and give you guys a hand and yeah, have a good one. Make sure it works. Always test everything you build. Make sure it does what it's meant to. That seemed like it worked pretty well and it did. Everything's moved forward. And that's how we build our airplane in Minecraft.